you know, I'm out on an inspection and I get asked a number of things and I, you know, I've had a bunch of loans, several of them through you, but I'm not an expert. And so, you know, we had a, a situation arise the other day, young couple, baby on the way, inspecting what looked like a really nice house. And I got a phone call from the realtor and she was just following up and said, hey, I wanted to let you know that house didn't meet the number we were looking for or needed for the, the appraisal. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why? They had probably $25,000 worth of brand new Pella windows. And it sounded as if when I was talking to them that they weren't getting credit, if you will, in the appraisal for these this wonderful upgrade. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, I didn't know how that worked and thought I'd run it by you. How does that work? Um, that's a great question. And actually, one thing I want to point out too, just to, you know, the viewers out there, um, because Derek is an inspector, he's not the appraiser. And a lot of people get confused by that. Yeah. So Derek is inspecting all of the systems in the home, the furnace, you know, um, the plumbing, things like that. The, the appraiser is looking at value of that home. And so what the appraiser does is they look at all the comparable sales in that area. They try to find homes within, you know, a certain parameter, like within a mile, um, less than six months if possible, same square footage or make adjustments if, if off. Um, but in terms of improvements, you will never get dollar for dollar typically for any improvement. So for instance, let's say you put on, you know, $12,000 roof or $20,000 in windows or whatever it may be, um, you won't get dollar for dollar. However, you should get some value for that, usually 50%. It just depends on mm -hmm. the improvement. Um, it varies, but it's really important that the seller, if it's, um, you know, in the specifically the realtor, give the appraiser that information. So if there are new windows, if there is a new roof, anything like that, give that information to the appraiser. He he would and should factor that in. Now, there are some instances where someone might really over improve a home for that neighborhood. So, you know, if all the homes in the neighborhood are selling for 450 and you've done a bunch of improvements and you're expecting, you know, a 550, 600 value, that's not probably going to happen. Sure. Um, you should get some value for those improvements, but you never want to be, you know, the nicest house in the whole neighborhood. That doesn't really work well for value. Um, but in this case, if they didn't get the value they needed, maybe I would go back to that appraiser and appeal and make sure that he knew and saw all of the information regarding the improvements and made adjustments for those improvements compared to the other homes if it was nicer. Yeah, that's that's good. And I, I think this couple was just, you know, uneasy because the house they were buying mm -hmm. had a, a lot of different upgrades mm -hmm. and now the numbers weren't working out. So yeah. again, using your expertise, that's great. Yeah. And that can be a problem. And sometimes people know that it will appraise less than what they're paying. But they love it so much and they want to pay the difference and they're okay with it. Um, but it's really important to make sure the appraiser had good information before you proceed with that number because sometimes we can make a difference if we need to there. Sure. So yeah, good question.